Stay tuned after the feature for a very special message. If you'd like to get an Amiga Parcero for yourself, I'll explain how you can pre-order one at a heavily discounted rate at the end of this video. A couple of years ago, I made a video where I showed my favorite Amiga 1000 setup at that time. It had two main hardware superpowers that made it my daily driver. First, a glorious rejuvenator board designed by the late Greg Tibbs out of Ohio. Rest in peace, Greg. A local friend of mine here in Seattle named Christian Stick helped me upgrade that board to utilize a rare Amiga 3000 Fat Agnes that can provide two megabytes of chip RAM. It also has a Kickstart 1.3 ROM chip to accelerate the boot up process and lose the typical Kickstart floppy. The second thing was a hardware combo where I used a Microbotic Starboard expansion made back in 1987. That provided both extra fast RAM, in this case one megabyte, a real-time clock, and a SCSI module called the Star Drive, which allowed me to use an iOmega SCSI Zip as an external 100 megabyte hard drive. It used a custom workbench boot disk that would pass control from the floppy over to the Zip drive and essentially turn the Zip into a semi-auto booting hard drive, which was a total game changer for that system. For all intents and purposes, that Amiga 1000 became one of my favorite, most treasured systems in my entire Amiga collection. Fast forward to today, as I made the difficult decision to remove the starboard and zip drive and replace it with a brand new device called the Amiga Parcero. Parcero in Portuguese means partner, so I guess it's the friend partner, or the partner friend. In any case, the Amiga Parcero was invented over the course of the past year by an Amiga hobbyist named David Dunkley, who was from a small town outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. As Dunkley puts it, the Amiga 1000 was arguably the most innovative personal computer of the 80s and is now a cherished collector's item. Unfortunately, memory and storage options for the 1000 did not keep pace with later models like the 500, 1200, and 2000. That's why I made the Amiga Parcero. Fun trivia, Mr. Dunkley, now retired, was the CIO of the United States Space Force. You heard that right, number one. So let's take a look at Mr. Dunkley's new device for the Amiga 1000 and see what it can do. At a high level, the Parcero can do everything my starboard and zip combo could do, except in a very tidy modern package. And it can do it all faster, and better. The Parcero attaches to the side expansion port of the Amiga and is about the size of a harmonica that's been run over by a steamroller, as it's only about a third of an inch thick. It provides the following features. Number one, eight megabytes of auto config fast RAM. It's a single eight megabytes of SRAM versus DRAM, so it really and truly is indeed fast with zero weight states. Number two, a coin cell battery-backed real-time clock, which comes with its own clock software that gets put into your startup sequence. Number three, an SD card reader with two gigabyte micro SD. It comes pre-formatted with the FAT32 file system and is readable on any PC as a result. It's worth mentioning that it's running on period correct OS 1.3. Possibly the best unseen feature is the silkscreen prints Dunkley put around the various chips and resistors on the board. It is a complete sci-fi treasure trove of labeling from Back to the Future to Battlestar Galactica. For this alone, I half-jokingly suggested to Mr. Dunkley a future 3D printed case in clear acrylic so I could totally nerd out with his hilarious labels. And I think he might actually take me up on that idea someday, which would be super cool. The Parcero comes with instructions for creating your own kickwork disk to quickly boot up your machine and install all of the necessary software to run the device. This includes the updates to your mount list, startup sequence, adding FAT95 drivers as well as SD device drivers. The kickwork disk idea is based off of a product developed in 1988 by Mr. Rudolph Lowe, 
Rest in peace, Mr. Lowe. This is where a kickstart disc is combined with a stripped down workbench disc for faster machine boot ups off a single floppy rather than two. The idea here is the modified kick work or workbench disc will begin the machine's boot up process like normal, then hand over total control to the SD card like a full fledged auto booting hard drive. It's not 100% auto booting, but it's pretty dang close. And once the machine fully boots, you just pop out the boot floppy and set it to the side. Mr. Dunkley confided with me that in a distant hardware update, he might take the next logical step and integrate an FPGA for a true auto booting experience. Since my machine is equipped with a rejuvenator board, I didn't need a kickwork disc. So I made a customized workbench boot disc making the necessary adjustments following Mr. Dunkley's fantastic instructions for the real-time clock software, the SD card device driver, and adding the FAT file system library. In the Amiga world, this is about as close to plug and play for a device with this many features that I've ever come across that doesn't completely take over your machine like a vampire. The installation was absolutely seamless and I got it up and running without a hitch. Now some of you might be wondering how long it takes to boot this 2 gigabyte equipped Amiga. For example, on my Amiga 2000, I have a 40 megabyte mechanical boot drive, but I also have a SCSI to SD card with 2 gigabyte micro SD for all of my software and data storage. When that machine boots, it can sit on a gray screen for about 20 to 25 seconds while the large drive is being validated. Once that process is done, the A2K snaps to life and I'm on my way. With the Parcero, it's a very different and better experience than I'm used to. The Parcero still needs to validate the empty space on the drive, but instead it does it in the background. So the Amiga 1000 boots up without that normal long pause. While the background validation is going on, the volume is set to read only. I can still run programs, but I simply can't write to the drive while the validation is going on. To be honest, I would have never even known about this had it not been noted in the instructions, as I'm virtually never writing to the drive the moment I boot it up. And within a few seconds, the little Cylon red LED light stops flickering, and I know then its job is complete, which didn't directly affect me anyway. Very, very cool. This device is currently in extremely short supply. In fact, I happen to get serial number number one, and I know serial number number two was sold a few hours after I got mine. At that stage, the inventory was sold out, but several more will eventually get made over time, so if you're an Amiga 1000 fan, I'd highly recommend you keep this on your radar and try to snag one of them for yourself. It's simply badass, and it didn't require me to upgrade my operating system beyond adding new drivers or really change anything like a lot of modern upgrades often do. The Parcero is a fantastic device made in the USA and is a very worthy successor to the Microbotics and Supra offerings from back in the day. It is one of the few modern devices that is 100% designed for the Amiga 1000 for a change. And how cool and refreshing is that? Pre-orders. If you'd like to pre-order one of these little technological marvels for yourself at a nearly 20% discounted rate at $195, simply email amiga.parcero at outlook.com to declare your interest and mention Amiga Love sent you. You will still need to cover expenses for shipping, of course, but you'll get in line for your very own Parcero. David Dunkley will manage the rest from there. And remember, guys... Keep that Amiga love flowing, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Amiga love.